Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today I'm going to show you how I do a thumb gusset. And I knit my thumb gusset right as I'm knitting, so I don't save my stitches for later to knit it later. I like to knit it all at once without any seams or going back and doing stuff. Um, that's just my personal preference. So I am knitting using the magic loop method, and I do have another video if you're not familiar with this method. Uh, you can go uh, watch it to get familiar with it. And I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn with size 11 knitting needles with a 24 inch cable. Mine are interchangeable, but you don't have to have interchangeable. And you can use a longer cable. It doesn't have to be 24 inch. It could be 30, 40, 60, um, just something longer. So I have the only thing that you need other than your needles and yarn is three stitch markers and that just makes it easier. You don't even have to have that. So I know I'm on a new round because my tail is on this side. So this is my stitch marker so that I know I'm starting a new round. Just It's just a visual aid to help me remember to trigger. So on the first round of the thumb gusset, you're going to knit this first stitch and then you're gonna place a stitch marker, and then you're going to increase one stitch. And I use a backwards loop, just like that. Just turn it and place it and pull. So I increase one, I knit one, and then I'm going to increase one. So on every other row round, we're going to increase the stitches and every other round we're going to knit them to bring them together. So I have one stitch, this middle stitch, that was original to my fingerless glove. And then I created two stitches, one on either side of that original stitch. And then just follow in pattern, whatever your pattern is. I'm just using all knit stitches to keep it simple. Uh, I particularly like simple patterns anyway. So on this round, so the previous round, we increase the stitches. And this round, I'm just going to slip the stitch marker and I'm going to knit. Knit and knit. So that just helps bring it together. And slip the marker and then knit the remainder of the row. All right, so the third round, we're going to increase the stitches again, one on either side. One before or after this stitch marker and before this stitch marker. So in between the stitch markers is the thumb gusset. So we slip to the marker, we're gonna increase one stitch, we're gonna knit these three stitches that are now the thumb gusset and then we're going to increase one more stitch. So now we have five stitches on our thumb gusset. And then we're going to knit the remainder of the stitches. All right, so that round we increase stitches so this round we're going to knit so that's an increased stitch so you can kind of see where you're at without having to read the pattern and i usually have seven um, stitches between the stitch markers for my thumb gusset you can always make them larger or smaller depending on what size
So this round, we're going to increase the stitch because that's a knit stitch. So that's increase stitch, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we have seven stitches for our thumb gusset. So we're gonna knit this first stitch and slip the marker. And that's an increased stitch, so we're gonna knit the stitch. And the next row, we are going to bind off these thumb gusset stitches. And then we'll just knit the body of the glove. So this round is just bringing it all together. Next round. So this first stitch is original to our body, part of the body part of the glove. So we're going to keep that stitch. I'm gonna take the stitch marker off because we're done with it. And now we're going to bind off the seven stitches for the glove. So I'm keeping this stitch original and now I'm going to bind off. So there's one, two. Now this here, it's, it is tricky because you don't want it too loose or too tight. Three. Oops, I went into the inside of that stitch. Or not the inside, it's gonna split it. Four. Five. Six. And then this part here, we want to remove that stitch marker and we're going to bind this last stitch off. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, did I take off one too many? Maybe I don't want to do that. Because I want the I want to have 14 stitches that I started with. So no, we wouldn't because there would be the one stitch here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stitches. Okay. So you don't want to do that and remove the stitch marker. So 14 stitches, definitely count the number of stitches that you have. And then we're going to knit that row. So we have a, a gap here, but we'll bring it together on the next round. I'm going to bring it all together with this round. So I'm knitting these two and like I'm not even missing a beat. And that brings the thumb gusset all together. So that is your thumb gusset, that's it. So well, you put your thumb in there and it's super cute. You can, if you want to go back and, and sew that uh, to bring it together a little bit because it is a little holy but uh, you don't have to. And the one side seems to be a little better than the other. And I knit the front and the back the same exact way. I've tried um, putting my thumb gusset in a different place and they really look like identical whenever you're done with it because you're knit knitting in the round. So whether it's this side or this side, it didn't really matter um, in the end. They both look very similar. So that is a thumb gusset. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new tutorial. So I will see you guys again next time. And thank you so much for watching.